Misty, Second Me and Misty. I'm right here live in Texas, Mineral Wells, Texas. Welcome to my show. This is my first show, so I'm really thrilled to be here, really excited. And um, I mainly connect to deceased loved ones, animals, even uh, love, loved ones. Um, I also do a lot of sound wave healing. I do a lot of chakra healing. I help people tap into their aura and discover what's keeping them down and help them release energy that doesn't need to be with them no more. Um, I do a lot of angel messages. I get angel messages every week for everybody. So the message for this week was your life will be happy and peaceful. And that's from your angels. Okay, they want us to have a happy life and they want us to have it peaceful, right? And not always does that happen here on earth. So this is a very important message for the ones that are feeling really sad and depressed and are struggling with finding that peace. Um, your angel is wanting you to know that you will be peaceful. You will have a happy life. Um, and I also do a lot of work with uh, tarot cards. Um, this one is the universe has my back. And I want to pull a card for everyone for coming to my channel and being here. And the card is. Your happiness is your birthright, right? So your happiness is your birthright, okay, y'all? So it goes back to this whole saying right here that says your life will be happy and peaceful. So it is your birthright to be happy and to have peace. So I'm ready to take any callers. If anybody would like to call in and get a reading. So, uh, Mr. Dave. Uh, is there any callers that are out there? Please give me a call. And <laughs> yay! While you're doing that, I'm going to get some sound wave energy out. This is a sound wave bowl. This is for anyone that needs some help with energy. If you have something going on and you're feeling sad or your energies are feeling low, this is to help you and help your energy come up. And I see that we have uh, a caller from, I want to say, her name was Brooke or from Brooklyn? Oh, Jacqueline from Brooklyn. All right. Let's see if we can connect and talk. Um, to explain to people what I'm doing right now, I scribble, and that's how I connect to spirit. Um, I just start to scribble and just ask them. My, my guides, I have three of them, and I have two angels I work with. I ask them to connect to the one that's calling in or my clients, and I ask for them to connect to their gods and their angel and connect us together so we can be one whole conscious. And yeah. hi, how are you doing? Hi. So you're from New York? Yes. I lived in Connecticut, believe it or not, for five years. My, I had my son up there. So... Oh, no. uh, I love some New York. <laughs> from Brooklyn. Awesome, awesome. Um, so would you like me to connect to you and your personal life? Or would you like me to try to connect to a loved one? Personal life. Okay. Um... Have you been putting in your applications for a different career move? I uh, no, been thinking about it. Oh, honey, you got to go for it. Oh, I got goosebumps. Honey, you got to go for it, okay? They're telling me that you have, like, a hobby on the side that you've been really passionate about. They really want to see you turn that hobby into a business. They say that you're so compassionate about that hobby, honey. If you put in the work right now, honey, you will see yourself being that boss. I mean, that main boss, that go-getter, that leader, 
That is who you are, okay? They want you to succeed at this hobby, okay? Because you got to start somewhere. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm starting my business in the kitchen. All your entrepreneurs start their business in the kitchen, right? That's where we come up with the best recipes, okay? And they're saying yeah. they can see you turning that business, that hobby into a business, and you will be successful. They're actually going to start lining people up for you. Okay, you're going to have to go to this person, that person, this person. They're going to help bring in the right people for you. And they're also saying the money's going to be there too. Okay, so no more worry, no more stressing over that. He said, <laughs> your angel is very sweet. It's a male angel, by the way. He's a male. Uh, he's saying, hey, I'm the one who, who wakes her up at nighttime and tells her these bright ideas. They're saying when they give you your right ideas for you to start dropping them down, okay? okay. And you're going to see it all come together. Okay. Um, also, okay. also, they want they want you to um, make make the contacts, okay? They're saying that you have certain contacts through emails that, mm -hmm. that come to you, like free webinars. Sign up. They're saying sign up for them free webinars. Sign up for them women entrepreneurs, okay? Because women like to help women, okay? And it's your time okay. to shine, okay? Okay. Um, also, they want to talk to you about your health real quick. Um, they mm -hmm. ask that you please drink more water. Um, okay. And they want you to go outside more. They're like, tell her to go outside and go walking, okay? Okay. But they want you to get more involved with Mother Earth. It okay. helps you stay grounded. Okay, honey? Okay. okay. Uh, also, I have one question for you. Um, a puppy keeps popping in. Um, did you have a puppy okay. from your childhood? Um, well, I have a, a dog now, and I have a one that just recently passed in January. Oh, okay. I'm going to start crying because I'm an animal lover. Uh -huh. Your puppy's popped in and he just wants to say thank you. Thank you for that wonderful journey you gave him because, honey, it could have been rougher for that dog, that puppy, if you didn't take that puppy in. It was like your right. home was, was his safe zone. And he's like, tell her I never told her secrets. When she, when she confided in me, I never told no one. And I won't. He says, I keep her secrets with me forever. Okay. Uh, he, he's, he's very humbled because of the fact that you took time out every day to spend time with him. He's like, you know, she was busy. She would still look down at me and rub my belly. Or she would still look at me and say, okay, let's go walking. Uh, yeah. He's very, humbled. he's very humbled. Uh, so you just got you another puppy? Um, yeah, I have my, um, well, I have both of them at the same time. So um, one was for 15 years and the other one is only two. Yeah, the, the, the one, the, 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 the two-year-old one, he's really sad because he misses his friend. But I'm going to tell you this, that puppy that from the other side is saying, would I do show up and I come to check on y'all? He sees me, and he kind of barks sometimes. Like, if you see him barking at the corner of the house yeah. or something, yeah, honey, that's him talking to his friend. <laughs> so no worries, okay? okay? <laughs> they still communicate. Our animals still communicate just like our loved ones, you know, because they are our children, you know? Um, don't be surprised, though, if you don't happen to come across your dog that has crossed over being reincarnated and coming back to you. Do not be surprised okay. if you find okay. one that looks just like him. <laughs> right. But younger. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Do you, okay, I have a question. Do you still have uh -huh. his toy, his blanket or something? I have the water pool. Oh, Okay. Okay, so just know that every time you fill it up, he's going to be there with you. Okay? Okay. Because he's like, she could have got rid of that, but she didn't. She kept it. 
And it's kind of like a memory piece is what you would call that, you know. Like, oh, yeah. you know. And, honey, he still drinks out of it every once in a while. <laughs> he, 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 still, he still drinks out of it. And he's like, tell her if she sees, like, little water drips around the water bowl, outside the water bowl, you know. And he can't figure out where that's from. That's him. That's just him letting you know that he's still around you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good for you. I, I'm very okay. happy that uh, you are an animal lover, and uh, you're also um, still still cherishing those moments with that dog, because that dog still loves you, honey, okay? Okay. You did give him the best quality life he could ever ask for. So we need more humans like you. Yes, thank okay. you. You're so welcome. And if you want anything else with me, uh, please connect with me okay. at psychicmedimisty.com or on Facebook. Okay, honey? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. So I believe we have another lady calling in from, I believe this is England. Uh, hello? Hey. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. How do you, how's it going? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I'm just chilling out, really. And what about you? Oh, I'm hanging out. So you're from Nottingham, England. Is that right? No, no. Yeah. Nottingham. Yeah. Okay. I've got a lot of friends from the UK. My homegirl's over there right now visiting her mom. Um, I oh. think she's tuning in too. So that's pretty exciting. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go there one day. One day I'm going to get there. I know I will be. <laughs> so how would you like me to connect for you, honey? Would you like a loved one to try to connect to a loved one or an animal? Or would you like a personal guidance? Yeah. Um, just, just I want to just know something about, like, I don't know, my future or something like that, I guess. Um, I haven't got any, like, loved ones that's, like, passed away and stuff like that. So... It's not, you're not really okay. going to get anything from that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, I'm going to tell you this much. I do have a woman that appeared just now, and she states that she is a grandmother. Um, really? Yes. But let me explain, okay? So this could be either your family member, or this could be a woman from school because she has like a book, book in her hand. And I'm thinking she's a teacher. That's my symbol for teacher, for education. So could you think back to any time in your journey going to school that an older lady was there teaching you? Right. Okay. Does that make sense? She says you're her favorite little one. <laughs> oh, only, only, only because you came to school wanting to learn. You were wanting to learn. She's like, that kid was on time. She was wanting to learn. Uh, did you wear a school uniform? Yeah, yeah. You always had it proper, she says. She never had to get on to you about not, not having it proper. She she states that that's a very proper thing. So you'll have to dress a certain way, and yeah. it makes you room. They're rooming you for the world. It's pretty much what they're saying. But she wants to check about your future. She says she wants you to go back to the studying the books. Um, she says you have a very very autistic gift. Um, right. Do you read a lot? Do you read um, a lot? I used to. I used to, yeah. I've, um, I've started um, studying again now because I'm going back to um, college in September, so I have literally been studying tonight, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they have to <spirit> work. <laughs> um, she wants you to also know on that test that's coming up, I call it a test, I believe y'all call it exams. Um, yeah, you yeah. will. You will pass. Okay, you will pass it with flying colors. Okay, she's like, no need to worry. Okay, because it's a major credit. It's a major credit, and she says yeah. to let you know before you walk in the classroom to take the test. 
would you please ask your angels to be with you on the test? And they will help give you the answers. That's including her. Okay? So how old is this lady then? Do you know how old she is? Oh. She states in her, she's like, you never ask a proper woman her age. <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> she's like, manners, manners. But she gives me the age 2055, honey. 2050 and 65. But that's, she crossed over about age 68 to 70. But she's in between age 50 to 65. She states that that's when she was like, it's kind of like fine wine. She states the older it gets, the more juicier you get. And in her life, in that age in the 50s to 65, was her most juiciest, exciting time. That's, I believe she retired <laughs> during that time because she showed me she traveled England a lot after she took yeah. after she took retirement. Does that make sense to you? Um, I Does think it's just one teacher at school. I, I'm having a feeling it's one one teacher in school. Um, not primary school, they were like junior school. So like 12, 13, okay. I think. Oh, like that makes sense. Okay, so I have a question. Who, she, she's like, someone got busted smoking cigarettes. She's like, yeah. she could have been around a group of kids smoking cigarettes. And I don't know why I want to say a bathroom. But someone got busted smoking cigarettes. Was someone around you in that age gap of your life we all got busted smoking cigarettes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, they always <laughs> So she says, you know, she she says, if you go back to your school book, you know, your yearbooks or whatever, y'all are together yeah. in a picture. You're together in a picture. So. Right. So <laughs> she's still with you. She's so proud of you, honey. She's very proud. Oh, that's very, that's very strange, that is, actually. That's, it's nice. It's really nice, though, but it's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's whoever pops in. <laughs> That's what people don't want. When it comes to loved ones, it's not just our blood family or our friends. It's anyone who has crossed our journey's path, right? So, yeah. I've had, honey, I've had it where clients come to me want to connect to a loved one, and the grocery store man pops in that they do business with every year. You know, so yeah. I've learned. I learned when doing this that it is whoever we've crossed our paths with. Honey, I mean, that could be you going to the bus station every day, seeing the same bus driver every day, and he could pop in your reading. Just to say, hey, yeah. how's it going? Uh, so one more thing she's telling me to tell you is that she does want you to have some extra hobbies and she means like she wants you to start meeting up with a different group of people outside of the group that you're already meeting she wants you to start meeting up with other entrepreneurs okay wow. and mm. she, says, uh, she wants you to start meeting up she says tea time darling tea time tea and bread cookies yeah <laughs> She says the reason why she wants you to do that is because you're excelling. So you're like down here, now you're like right here, and she wants to see you way up here in the field that you're going in. Yeah. Okay. And so these other entrepreneurs have either been in your shoes or are going through the same thing so you can relate to one another. So you don't feel like yeah. you're doing it by yourself. Because I, I know, like, let's say you're at your mom's house. Your mommy, your mom's house, yeah. and you're like having a frustrating day at school. But but your mom's, she's not going to know anything about that conversation because she's not involved in it. Does that make sense? So she, your yeah. mom would be able to relate to you. She says these other entrepreneurs are going to be your go-to people, and people are going to come to you too. So it's give and take, give and take, give receive, give receive. 
Yeah. Uh, can I ask you, have you not been having tea time? I've got sorry. Say again, sorry. Have you not been having your tea time? Um, the tea time. Not really, not really. Oh, honey, you've got to. She's saying you need to go outside and have that tea outside. She's like, right now, it's yeah. beautiful over there. Beautiful. So she wants you to start going outside and having tea time. Because that's when you can get relaxed. That's when you can have all these lovely energies come to you and give you thoughts. Okay? And your thoughts is like your angels and your gods answering your prayers to you. Don't whisper in your ear. Or you'll have this word that will come up in your mind and they want you to jot it down because it's going to mean something later. And wow. also, also, she says, you keep seeing the same number pattern. It could be like 111, 555, 444, 333. Is there certain pattern numbers that you've been seeing lately? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What numbers? One and two. One, two? So number 12? Yeah. Okay, I want you to do, do, do yourself a favor. When we hang up, look up spiritual meaning of number 12. Spiritual meaning number 12. She's going to give you yeah. a message. Okay? She's giving you a message through that number 12. Okay? And also, in 12 months, the whole life will be different. Relocation, moving, job, everything's going to be different in, in 12 months, by the way. And that's their gift to you. Because you never gave up. You never gave up. You never, no matter how much rough days you had, you did not give up. Okay? That is true. That is very, so, very true. Yeah. Because it's like your whole life is passing by me. And, girl, you've had the, the rainstorm on you, you know. Yeah. And no matter what, you got up and you put your big girl panties on. And you walked out that door with your head held high. And because of that, you're getting your blessings. Because you didn't give up. Because you let the universe work for you and work with you. And I'm going to give yeah. you a card. So here's your card. It says obstacles or detours in the right direction. Obstacles or detours in the right direction. Okay, honey? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Yeah. I see, I'm trying to see if I can get it. Is that right? Can you see it? I don't know. Y'all can see it. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, don't forget, they also want me to tell you this, um, your life will be happy and peaceful, okay? Know that. Yeah. And if you'd like to connect more with me, you can find me on Facebook or you can visit my website. It's www.psychicmeandmissy.com. Uh, please connect with me, though, on Facebook, honey, because I would really love to have your, your friendship. You have good energy. And I thank you for calling in and being here today with me for my first live. I appreciate it. Uh, we're getting down yeah. to the last minute. So I'm going to say thank you all for tuning in and being here. I appreciate it. And I want to give everyone love and peace and healing. And I want to make the note that they do have their angels with them. And your angels are there to help you. All you got to do is just ask for your angel to help you. And always call on Archangel Michael. He is a very powerful Archangel, and he will help us. You just got to ask for him. So I thank y'all live from Texas. Please give me a shout out on Facebook or Instagram. I'm on IGTV too. So thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see y'all next Tuesday. And much love and many blessings to y'all. Namaste. Namaste.